Hello, everybody. Once again, that is uh, November the 16th, 2021. Today, we're going to read a good one. This is, I uh, was just looking over this as I was getting the, uh, getting my laptop set up. And this one is another good one that I, I really enjoy. Um, <clears throat> definitely, definitely one of those prayers that we need to, we need to know how to say when we're in, we're in those, those times of need. which we are definitely in right now. Uh, so, Psalm 51. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba. I am going to get rid of the nose blowing before we start. All right, Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy, in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Amen. That hits me a little hard today. Sorry, that just kind of hits me a little hard today. Just, just the, uh, just when I look down, as I was getting this ready and I just kind of read just a little bit of it, I just, uh, it kind of, it took me aback a little bit because it was, um, something I needed to hear today. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity. 
cleanse me of my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. And then the part that you need to understand, against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and clear when thou judgest. Because we do sin against ourselves, but in the end, we are sinning against God. Because he doesn't want this for us he does not want us to sin he doesn't want us to to be like this to live like this where was the um, behold oh, next line there you go behold I was shapen in, in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me I was shapen in iniquity. I was brought up in lies. We are all brought up in lies. And I've done as much as I can over the past four years to show people just even, even the smallest lies are still lies. They're still there. It's still... From the time we are born until the time we die, we are told. We are told that everything is a certain way, and it just absolutely is not. If you spend more than. If you spend more than two. Two minutes just looking into some things. You just see it. It's not. It's not right. It's it just none of it makes any sense, and it's all backwards. I uh, my uh, my mother in law, I guess you can call her that now. Um, my wife's mother. She finally admitted that the entire world is upside down. And my wife had had uh, joked about uh, Stranger Things, about it you know, being the upside down, and I had known somewhat before that because I was just reading the Bible and understanding things. And the one thing that always stuck out to me, which is where we're going now is that they will they will put bad for good or they will put good for evil and evil for good i think that's the way it was i don't remember but that's exactly where we are right now is that they They place the evils of this world above above anything that's good. They praise and <laughs> take pride in their iniquity and their in their unrighteousness. They um People are cheering that people die. People are cheering when people get hurt. People are cheering when somebody loses part of their life, when they lose the ability to be able to just exist
And then they condemn anyone that tries to speak good. That tries to say it doesn't need to be this way. There is a better way. That we can love each other. And that we can move away from this. That there is love. I read the other day that... I mean, I've heard so many. I've read and heard so many of the absolute worst news articles of my entire life within the past five years. It just sickens me. But I read that... Sometimes the nuclear family is not the best kind of family. I'm playing to those to that effect that that not having <laughs> not having the pure relationship of a mother and a father uh, to be able to raise a child is sometimes not having that raises stronger, better people. Stronger, more fearless people. I could, go, I could go into the whole fearless, air quotes, fearless um, nonsense that has come around. It's that no, you're not. You're not living fearless. Fearless. You're living without fear of your God. You're living without fear of consequences, what you're doing. Anybody can stand tall against against just living life, but will you be able to stand tall at the end when you have to be judged for all of your all of your nonsense that you've done in your life? That's just part of the lie. That's just that's just part of the lie. That's that's just part of being shapen in iniquity. For behold, in those those uh, at the last days, the uh, the Gentiles shall come to me and say, "Help us, for we have inherited lies." That line has stuck out to me more than anything else. I've been been shaking my head too much <laughs> over the past over the past several months. It's just every time I see something, I just can't even face palm anymore because we're past that point. Um, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my, all mine iniquity. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit with him. <sighs> Father, please, in all things, create in me something new. Give me something better than this. I have... I have destroyed this body through the sins of this world. My heart was so corrupted. And he changed me. I I, I have ex I've kind of talked about it uh a couple different times. But I was I've I've never gotten into details and I'm still not planning on getting into details. That's uh that's for me. That's between me and him. But I was 
I was in such a bad place. I I look back on where I was four years ago, and oh man, I was I just I had hate and spite and and wickedness. And it was like, it was like overnight when I asked, when I said, please come into me, wash me clean, take this away from me. It was, it was almost, it was immediate. It was overnight. It just felt different. And it it was, it was scary at first, but it just felt it felt right. It felt felt amazing to have been cleansed by that. And then since then, it's just been eyes open, heart open. I have I have become something different. Created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. And then, once you're to that point to where it feels so right and so good. Then it becomes, Then will I tr- teach transgressors thy way, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. And I don't know if I've converted anybody. I really don't know. I really can't tell. I, I've had I've had so many people say that that since I've started doing this, since I I've, I've started reaching out through the YouTube videos. Um, so many people have felt helped that um, that they've they felt blessed by things that I've said. Um, I don't know if I've turned anybody. Uh, at one point in time, I I said if I could just change one person. If I could just convert one heart, I will feel like I've done something. I don't know if I'll ever find out until the end, but I always say if if I could only find one person, just one. Because that's all it takes, is for one person to change. And then, if they are changed if they are are given that they are renewed with a right spirit or um, cleaned washed clean then they will eventually want to tell others so that they can they can go find that one person and then that person can go find one person and that person can go find one person Eventually, one somebody will be able to find two people. You know, that's how it multiplies out. Just, I've always just said one person. If I could just change the life person, like I was changed. Thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart of God thou wilt not despise. It was coming back to him. Because you sacrificed... 
You made sacrifices for sins. He never wanted us to sacrifice anything. He wanted us to be upright and good so that we didn't have to. He doesn't want He never wanted that. He wanted us to just come back Uh, good one for today. That's definitely a good one for today that I didn't think I was going to get hit like that, you know? I, I just, uh, and I've got I had all this overtime I had to do, and I'm taking a taking a half a day today so that I can go finish the uh, finish some work outside before it gets too cold and uh, I'm having to make up hours because that was part of the rule of working mandatory overtime was that if you took if you took any time off you had to make up the overtime we're kind of that swamped um so I'm having to wake up earlier this week. But uh, I wasn't even remotely thinking that I was going to wake up and almost be hit with the head with a problem like that. That puts, uh, that puts new perspective into your life, you know? I mean, it just kind of... When it, when it stops you cleaning your tracks and you're just like, that's what I needed to hear. That's, you know, that's what I needed to hear today. And hopefully that's what everybody else needed to hear today too. So... I think we all need to hear that. I think we all need to hear that because a lot of people don't know how to pray. You know, I've... I've heard so many people, you know, will get down and... and they will pray for... things some people will pray for um they'll they'll do the things like if you if you help me get through this then I'll never be bad again i don't know if that's ever empty promises or not but if you you know help me get through this one thing father i promise i'll never do it again That was one of the one of the things that I when I first when I first uh, started really changing. One of the things that I I had stopped and I had said, um, it's not what I want to pray for. I mean, I want to pray for. Health and and strength and forgiveness and you know love mercy uh, the ability to be able to to have wisdom know the truth understand not the not just the truth of this world not just the understanding of this world but to have the understanding of the word to know what I'm talking about whenever I start talking to other people. And I'm still not perfect. Not by any means. But. You 
it's also when you pray to ask that he takes this garbage off of us. It's, it's this, it is, it's a, it is a layer of, It is a layer of, of filth. And lies and and evil that we have we have come to accept as as reality as truth. And it's just not. And we have to be cleansed of this. We have to ask to be cleaned. I, I use the metaphor of the glass. I don't know how many times. I haven't used it in a while. But the glass. Your life is a glass of, of water. But it's dirty. It's dirty, filthy water. Your glass started clean. But as it's been filled up through your life, it's had dirty nastiness just slowly seep into it. God comes in and he fills that cup with clean water, with with good water. And the cup starts filling up and filling over and spilling over the edge. And as it does, all of that nastiness that's inside of that glass starts spilling over, starts emptying out the glass. And on the bottom of the glass is the clean water because the clean water is pushing the, the nastiness out until eventually your, your glass is overflowing with clean, pure water, with good water. And that's... that's what you need. Is to... is to have that, to be cleansed... The, cleansed of the dirt from the inside out. Create in me a new heart. Renew a right spirit within me. It's uh, something good to meditate on. It's not even. I don't know. I was I was logging in, kind of as I was talking there, logging into my computer at work, and I think I got just another one of those false emails. You gotta love those, man. It gets we get one like every other day, where they're trying to trick us into clicking a link, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Something about a training I got to do. Yippee skippy. Go find out what that is. Um. I should go ahead and stop there. Because. I'm. Going to have to. Log into work. Oh. At. I don't know what this is. I, it's not training it's something else so, weirdness is weird I don't know Company, the company sends out stuff all the time and I don't know what this thing is so anyways um, thanks for coming around and uh, listening to this I hope it helped I know it helped me today I, I do feel 
It absolutely feels like there's a weight that's been lifted off of my shoulders. Right now. I do feel lighter. Of course, I feel a little emotional right now, too. But, um, yeah, I definitely do feel lighter. So hopefully that will be able to, uh, I'll be able to carry that over. Because today I, I definitely asked for uh, some strength. Because what I have to do outside, I'm I'm, I'm going to have to get in there and, and basically digging a, a trench is what I'm doing. I got about 10 feet that I have to dig through roots, through tree roots. So it's it's not going to be easy. And if I get started at noon, I'm hoping that I can get done by 5 because the sun goes down here at like 5.30. So I have to be able to get this done as quickly as possible. Um, so I, I, I definitely need strength today to be able to get this done before... Before it gets too cold. So, uh, I will, uh, I will get off here so I can do my four hours. No, no, not four hours. What am I thinking? I will get off here so I can do my six hours of work. Because <laughs> I'm only taking four off because I'm doing ten hours a day. Doing ten and a half hours today. No, I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I'm doing like eleven hours a day to make up for the four hours that I'm taking off today. It's. It's. It works. It works. Probably by Friday I'm going to be like, wait a minute, I added that wrong, and I'm going to have to work over. I don't know. But uh, again, thank you guys for listening. Um, I. I do absolutely hope that it helped. Um. I don't have much else to say other than that. I could I could go on and on and on about what is happening in this world and the lies and the people that just refuse to listen. I could go on and on and on about that stuff, but nobody wants to hear that. So I think that... I think that being able to talk about anything else right now, to take care, everyone. God bless you all. Um, there we go again. I got to wait for another minute so that we're we're past the thirty-three minute mark. <laughs> thank you guys for thank you guys for listening. Seriously. Um. I didn't want any of this for anybody. Um, but we're here. So we have to... We have to do our best to be better. For ourselves. God. For other people. Other people need to be woke up to this. So do what you can. If nobody wants to listen... What's the sequence of events that's that's in the... I don't remember if it was Paul uh, or somebody else that had said, if at first nobody wants to hear, then bring in a second witness. At, I think it was, it was uh, a second or third witness. Um, and if they don't want, you, want to believe you after two or three people, then... You have to wipe the wipe the dust from your sandals and move on. All right. 
Uh, I shall talk to you all later. Take it easy.